Hi. 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 Again. <laughs> Third time's a charm, so a big, <laughs> big congrats on selling the OC season three, and it's as fabulously messy as ever. <laughs> now know. let's see with you, Miss Lauren, the good girl. Tell our viewers <laughs> what's the vibe this season. The vibe is chaotic this season. The vibe is messy, um, and I think a lot of it too is, I think there's a couple different storylines happening where people are figuring out the truth in their own right. Um, and so that's really interesting because I think as, as you go along um, the episodes, I think the viewers will start to see their own understandings of a lot of different things happening throughout the season. So um, it's, it's interesting to unpack. You are actually co absolutely correct. I mean, you know what the ending, I mean, this is more dramatic ending, I think, than all the other seasons. <laughs> I was like, wow, I can't wait for what happens for season four. But Alex Hall, do you know that horsepower in a car actually comes from the amount of physical horses that it <laughs> I feel like not a lot of people know that. I Lauren know. knows I a did. lot of things. I, she I, knows I a lot weird, of facts. Yeah. But, but I feel like that's not, com is that common knowledge? I mean, I, I thought so. Did you know that? And I knew that. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, whatever. Just oh. trying to spread some knowledge. <laughs> I we've didn't know. Follow, we've been following your, your relationship with Tyler last season. Give our viewers a tease of where that's leading this season. Oh, boy. S season three? Yes. Where, <laughs> uh, a lot of whiplash, uh, a lot of back and forth. Uh, will we, won't we? And all I can really say is I am, you know, it's frustrating to watch for me. Um, watching season three was, it brought back some emotion, you know, negative and positive. And I just, it's, it's frustrating. You know, for me, I think it's really frustrating to watch and it, it drags, it drags. And it's just, it had to, it had to come to a head at some point. And I feel like even at the end of season three, you know, Tyler and I have this conversation and I'm still like, what the hell, you know? And so um, I, I do have clarity now and, um, you know, a lot has transpired since finishing filming season three and up until now. And um, it's, a, it's a lot. I mean, I think it gets a little bit deeper than it did season two because we actually try to at least see what will happen. Um, but uh, we'll see how the audience portrays it. And what about you, Ms. Jarvis? I heard you're leaving. Is that true? I mean, that makes me a little sad. Oh, yeah, I did leave. I left a couple months ago, um, moving on to, to other things. So not much. I don't really feel like it's a surprise, to be honest. Oh, but I'm glad, though, that you're still here trying to help promote season three. So that's very good of you. And Miss Polly, the last time we spoke, you had lots of drama in season two. Tell our viewers what about season three, what can we expect from you? Season three, I am actually happy that the the boys kind of take the drama crown uh, this season. I work hard, I do a lot of business. I, I you know, really showcase the evolution of my career, which I, I really love. And that for me is a nice change than, uh, than the drama of, of past seasons. Oh, I don't know. I'm saving the best for last, Mr. Gio. <laughs> you, are, you always say that you're 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 the you're Oppenheim's best. How did you prove that this season? I don't know if I did. <laughs> uh, so you know, when you see Polly's career on the upswing, I think I'm on the downswing. But uh, I, you know, I. I think the boys, like Polly said, take the cake as far as drama is concerned this season. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's a really well-balanced season that, in that respect. And you see different sides of each of us, me, uh, Austin, Sean, Tyler. And, uh, you know, we're all pushed in different ways. So, uh, you know, personally speaking, I have no regrets. I, I think that, uh, you know, the audience is going to interpret as they will, probably harshly towards me, and that's okay. And uh, I'm, you know, I'm excited that you see a little snippet of me and my family in the end and, you know, moving on to, to good things.
Right, you have like, a, a, without revealing too much, you have like a little happy ending in the end that it's feel good actually. <laughs> you know, that's which, which is great, right? Gio now, loves a happy ending. Besides Miss Jarvis, <laughs> let's begin with Gio. Will you return for season four? We'll see. When, you, when we know, you'll know. Yeah. Oh, really? Uh, so no, no, you guys don't want to commit. <laughs> we don't. No, we don't. We don't know. Yeah, we'll find out. We know. I guess you know, with the reaction from season yeah. three. Hopefully, everyone loves it and they want us to show more, show more houses, more drama, more, <laughs> you know, ins and outs of the open eye group. Hopefully, we get to to show you guys for for seasons to come. And of course, more opulent listings. Mm. So. <laughs> A big, a big congrats on selling the OC again. Gorgeous listings and gorgeous cast. Hope to see you all again for season four, okay? Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Good luck on everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.